This is part two of the 1938 Seaberg. I've had a chance to do some research on it and um, turns out what I have is a mostly have a 1938 Seaberg Regal cabinet. Um, I had shown in a previous video that they had put this in for some reason. And I have every intention of just using it as a, a record player. But after doing the research, it's it's absolutely, that's all that this thing can ever be. Um, I wouldn't be able to put this back to original. Too many things have been altered. Even if I got a hold of this panel, uh, the guts are all incorrect, including the, uh, well, the record changer is from the correct year, but um, if you were going for a totally original machine, you'd want the correct changer. So it's it's from a, a Symphola, Symphonola, something like that, uh, record player, which was made the same year as this one, but you know this belongs in a different model, and these are completely incorrect. Uh, the closest I can find on the net is that these possibly came out of a Seaberg trash can which would have put these in the mid 40s so and then they were doing some weird stuff here I'm not sure what this is all about that's pretty hokey and then the master receiver I so I don't know if this thing ever functioned if somebody was just goofing around or they got it to work as a basic record player uh, they went to the trouble of hooking all this stuff up and all those wires up and they connect everything's connected so I don't know if this was a, a failed experiment or if they actually got it to to play but this is a gutted master receiver it's not just that it's missing the tubes they were intentionally removed um, there's not much going on in here and then you can see they added some stuff so I'm not sure what's uh, <laughs> what their intention was if they got it to uh, function at all if they got it to just work as a basic amp I don't know how the record changer function would work at all but they are wired into it. You know, that took a great deal of effort to hook all that up. So I'm not sure what I have on my hands, if this thing's even capable of, of playing a record. Uh, the only tube I'm missing is the rectifier tube was broken on this, so I can't even try this out. Uh, I'll have to get one of those. The other two uh, uh, tubes were, they're a little beat up, the metal body tubes, but they tested all right on the tube tester. So I still want to get this going and there's some cabinet lighting in it. See those big old incandescent bulbs. And for some reason, I don't know if it was parted out for another machine, all the uh, bunch of lighting was removed from the door. It looks like there used to be lights for these, so something's been physically removed. You can see from in all the positions. So I guess what I'm getting at, a little damage there. There's really nothing I can do to further devalue this machine. Um, and it's not economically feasible to bring this thing back to original unless I had a another machine, you know, another parts machine that had most of the things in it. So. I'm going to still try and get it going as a record player. Um, once I get my hands on a rectifier tube, I'm going to see if their contraption ever did anything. I'll bring it up slowly on a Variac and a watt meter. 
and go from there. I kind of jumped the gun and had ordered um, a more correct amplifier for it, but I don't know if I just wasted my money on that or not. So, okay, that's the amplifier that's in it. The master receiver that's uh, <laughs> gutted beyond belief. So if anybody has a clue on what <laughs> what somebody was thinking, uh, put it down in the comments below. I've I'm not sure what's going on. So basically this thing was cobbled together from somebody's collection of spare parts. But if I can get it working, just to play records, you know, that that's what my goal is. And this is the tag on the back of the record changer. Like I said, it's correct year, but wrong model. So this is closer to what should be in the machine. Uh, the model number is still different than what I have on my wiring diagram, but I don't know if I'm gonna do anything with this or not. This is supposedly from 38. ish <laughs> I wasn't able to find anything exact on the type looking around on the net so I haven't powered this thing up or anything I'm gonna see if I don't know if my tube tester is going to be able to test some of these tubes or not some of these are really old I don't know if I'm capable. I don't know if the rectifier tube off of this can be used for testing purposes and the other one or not. Um, I'll have to see if I have that listed here in my substitution chart. I am a rookie at this, so there's a lot of things I don't know. So I gotta muddle through this the best I can. So this is a 5Z3, so 5, 5Z3, five, and well, this is the tube number in the other amp, the 5U4G, here's what's in the amp that's sitting in the cabinet right now. The thing is, it says use with adapter, so I'm not sure what that means. What kind of adapter, what do they mean by that? We'll have to see if the footprint is different. Well, here's the tube I need. Yeah, <laughs> I guess it does need an adapter, so I'll just go ahead and get a hold of another one of these tubes.